What up, y'all? Drew, Drew sells out. Coming at you week 18. Is it week 18? I guess it's week 18. Happy week 18. 18, 18. How many times can I say 18? Um, 18 times would be too many. I think I'm at like eight. So let's stay with that. Uh, what has been happening this week? On the sponsorship side of things, have a couple really good things going on. Um, I have been... Uh, I blasted out a bunch of emails to gasoline companies and hotel companies. Hotel companies are responding a lot. They're opening up, like, there are two separate hotel chains, Best Western and someone else, that have opened it up separately, like, 32 and 38 times since I sent it yesterday, which is a lot. Gasoline companies, they're less excited by it. Um, so that's that's fair. I sent off a long video, like a 10-minute video, to Ashley and GT Dave, and so we have a phone call set up next Wednesday to kind of talk through what the proposal is. Uh, I asked for $50,000, <laughs> uh, which I, can, I, you know, I, I really can't tell if that's a lot or a little, um, but I know that if we give away... 80% of that, it would be awesome. It would be so sick. And $10,000 would allow us to really bring the project forward in a lot of ways. Um, it's so hot in the van. It's so hot in the van. This is definitely going to be a one take. Um, let's see. I wrote down some other things that I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah. So we got Stroop Waffles. Some Stroop Waffles are coming our way. That's really exciting. And we're going to meet with Stroop Waffle Lady in June. Um, I am messing around with the idea of... If we can get a hotel sponsorship to have the great van fleet, uh, to just have a bunch of people, whoever is in a van or a car, uh, to just drive around and just be able to roll deep into these cities, I think that would be. I think that'd be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and coming out of COVID socially, that would just be so much fun. Uh, so that would be cool. Uh, also messing around with the idea of rather going rather than going straight to LA, going um, from Austin to Denver through Jackson to Oregon. Um, kind of that trajectory, and then working our way down later in the summer, um, just on account of maybe avoiding forest fires, and also maybe uh, that just being a better route to be able to hit some more sponsors and stuff like that. Because um, then we can kind of go after Denver and Jackson and Port and you know Portland, and try to you know spend some time more more time there. So, but yeah, it's just tough to figure out what's the right call. Um, because it's all, I mean, it's all arbitrary right now. It's just like, what do I think is the right call? This is the right call. Uh, I have a phone call um, with one of my main mentors, uh, business mentors, this guy, Matt Early. Um, he was a huge factor in helping me get my first business, Local Brews, off the ground. And he's just, um, he's just a wizard. And so I'm going to talk to him for a little while. And I'm really excited to have someone whose uh, just mental brain strategy I trust and kind of talk through some of this stuff because it's, uh, it's exhausting sometimes just d thinking thinking through all of it from all the different levels as both like the soldier on the ground and then, um, you know, the general who's trying to overall direct this whole project. Um, I've been really trying to stay balanced. Yesterday I had an awesome... I, I, I go back and forth between being really frustrated when I'm not getting my work done and um, trying to just like stay balanced and live a, a good life where I have time for people and uh, relationships and just can breathe and play a lot of tennis. I played tennis yesterday against this guy, Andre, uh, and he was the man. It was really fun to play against. And also we just happened to be like randomly, uh, on all the same like internet channels. Uh, and so I met him because he was using the ball machine before me. And so it was just really serendipitous. And we just like hung out for a while and that was great and came home and hung out with my roommates. And that was a really good like social recharge. And it's tough to kind of balance both of those things where it's like, I want to be working really hard right now. That's what this period of time is, is about. Um, but also simultaneously not wanting to give up like my humanity and still wanting to live a life that is fulfilling. And a huge part of that for me is, is being with people and spending time with people and like having, um, the, the hat on where I'm not always going somewhere, not always doing something. And you can actually like see a person and be like, Oh, like, what's up, man? Like, what's going on? And not have that energy where you always have to go like somewhere or move to something next. Um, but striking those two things, because those, those feel like different hats. Um, but ideally, um, I'd like to be able to, to wear both of them well. Um, so that's pretty much that. Um, I think that I will continue. I sent an email to Abby the Nomad. Hopefully we can get him in contact and then following up with those people next week and building the itinerary just throwing some pins in the ground so we have some ideas of some places that will be at certain times and then can, you know, we can move that and we can adjust it, but just really trying to get a, a baseline 
Um, so, so we can kind of move forward in that capacity, but overall feeling pretty good. Um, I feel my body feels great. My tennis is really stepping up, which is exciting. Uh, and I'm just going to try to keep doing it. Try to stay balanced. Uh, I, I invested in an oil, uh, drill, uh, cause my roommate's a freelance geologist and that's drilling this weekend. So I'm really excited by that. Uh, this is the last video before I become an oil baron. So, uh, and then I'll probably just, you know, quit doing all projects, um, and, you know, be able to retire forever based on my 1% in this oil drill. Uh, so that's pretty much that. I uh, hope you guys have a really good weekend. Uh, I got to fix up my bike. I keep getting a flat tire on the back. I've replaced the tube a couple times. Well, I patched a tube and then replaced the tube. So I'm thinking there might be like something either embedded in the tire that I haven't been able to see or maybe something with the actual, um, the actual wheel base in itself. So I'm going to try to mess with that. Uh, but yeah, take off Saturday, Sabbath on Saturday, Saturday, Sabbath for the boys, right? Uh, I don't know if anyone's used those three sentences back to back to back, but I just did. And so there is that. I am already starting to sweat because the van is so dang hot, which is another problem that I'm going to need to solve. Um, because I, people, people will melt if I try to interview them in here. Um, at least at this time of day, it's three o'clock in Texas. That's hot. But maybe early morning. I need to test out to see if the air conditioning unit in the back still works. So it goes. All right. I love you. I hope you're all good. And let me know you something you're excited about. <laughs> if you want to. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything. That's uh, Louis C.K. has a bit about that. Am I even allowed to mention him? I don't know. But it's a funny bit. All right. I love you. Hope you're good. Bye.